Hi, 72 Day Star, out in the walk and vlog. If I can keep this under a minute, that would be just super. Never seems to happen. Uh, it's spring, so if you're hearing wind sound, apologize for that. It's just spring in South Korea. So, um, I was faced with the problem of the attempt, what just makes me a little bit angry because the idea of the burden of proof, the idea of a burden of proof, if you assert something, normally we would say it's up to you to provide evidence for that assertion. Um, it's not up to the other people to come up with evidence that it's not so. So when we're talking about the existence of God, um, most atheists would say, okay, well, what's your evidence for your claim? We can't just assert something and then assume, well, it's true, out of hand, without any examination. I think that seems reasonable. I hope most people can see why that would be reasonable, that you wouldn't just assert something and expect everyone to say, oh, that's reasonable. Um, and yet, it's very common and especially common among uh, sort of philosophical theists that they think that it's if I claim that there is no God, then it's up to me to prove that there is no God, even though God is the sort of thing, and I've argued before, God is the sort of thing that is has evolved to avoid disproof. So, there you go, it's your responsibility to disprove this thing which has evolved purposefully to avoid disproof. Uh, that just seems, well, it, it's... I don't want to characterize it in any sort of paranoid fashion, so I just say it's just wrong. It's just wrong. And to illustrate it as wrong, it was not long ago, and in fact, even in the past century, people in, say, the countryside of, of uh, northern Scotland, er, Scotland and, and Ireland, uh, b they believed in fairies. You know? fairies, magical, clever people who generally avoided detection, but you know, if you're for a walk in the woods and you saw something in the corner of your eye and you got a strange, eerie feeling, that could have been the fairies. People believe this stuff. So if I asserted, well, I was out in the woods and I caught a glance of a fairy, well, would it be reasonable for me to ex expect anyone to believe that? Would it be reasonable for me to believe that? without any way of verifying it. And who would the burden be on? Would the burden be on other people to disprove my belief in fairies? Or would it be the responsibility of me to support my belief in fairies, at least if my interest is maintaining my reputation as a reasonable person? Is that the same as this? what I'm contending that it's the same as this argument for God, where I say, well, such and such a God exists, and the theist tries to say, I believe that the God, uh, God exists, and if you don't believe, you ought to provide evidence for your position, provide evidence for your lack of belief in God. And this is, it gets into definitions. If you ask a theist what an atheist is, more often than not, they'll define atheism as a, a belief that God doesn't exist. For some atheists that might be true, but more often these days, atheists would define atheism as a, just a lack of belief in God. In that if, if people who believe in God are asserting that God exists, they ought to come up with evidence to support that claim. If they do provide evidence, but it is found to be non-credible, just insufficient, then I would say, okay, I reject your claim, and I remain an atheist. But uh, a lot of theists are not happy with that. Anyways, to get back to my point, how is it different than the atheist, theist position, the theist atheist position? If anyone could address that, I'd really appreciate it. Seven two day star out.